All right, so I've had a pretty bad oil leak on this uh, O2 Golf TDI for quite a while now, and uh, you can see down here, that's where it's kind of pooling up down there on that little ledge near the bottom of the engine. You can also see down here where I park, usually uh, all this bark is turned into what looks like charcoal. And of course, you know, the whole bottom side of the car is just completely caked in oil. Um, I suspect the oil is leaking around the uh, a bad seal that's between the oil filter housing and the block. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try and fix today, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I just want to be clear. I'm not actually going to be removing the uh, whole entire filter housing unit out of the car, mainly because uh, we've got those two coolant lines, the, uh, the radiator coolant lines, going to the oil cooler. Um, unless you have your uh, cooling system drained, uh, there's no way to disconnect those hoses without uh, spilling coolant all over the place. So I'm going to leave those attached and just kind of move this housing out of the way while I get to the gasket behind it. Alright, so the tools that we're going to need for this job are a 17mm open end wrench, 19mm wrench, a socket wrench, 6 inch extension, and a 12 point size 10 socket. It needs to be 12 point, very important. All right, so before we start anything, we want to drain the oil. Uh, don't want to be taking off that oil filter housing and having a bunch of oil gush out and making a huge mess. So grab your 19 millimeter wrench. You want to take off that bolt right there. I mean, if you ever changed the oil before, I'm sure you know exactly what to do. Um, so oil's already been drained, let's move on. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is removing this oil line right here. That takes a 17 millimeter uh, wrench to get that off. So unscrew that, take the line off, and uh, continue on. Now keep in mind when you pop this thing off, there is a little brass um, gasket right here in between this physical line. There's one right here, and then there's one in between the line and the bolt make sure that this doesn't pop off see how easily that just came off that just happened to me and it fell all the way down to the ground luckily i was able to find it so be careful when taking it off and be sure to save that okay next is the big event taking off the uh the actual housing so we have four bolts that are holding this thing on we have one right there right there right there and then one right there. Those take the uh, size 10 uh, 12 star socket. So now with those four bolts out, uh, this thing is just kind of loosely sitting in here. It's de uh, separated from the block. Um, so what we're going to want to do now is disconnect that plug right there. I believe that's a, an oil level sensor or a temp sensor or something like that. Uh, couldn't take it off before because the plug was hitting uh, this oil or uh, I think power steering line right here. But now that it's out of the way, we can. Uh, there we go. Take that off. Give us a little bit more clearance. Get that out of the way, and now we can get to the gasket that's sitting back there. All right. Carefully just. There we go, like peeling a scab. So there's the old one. And that, uh, let's see, that pretty much looks like the same. We got a winner. So now that I got this uh, housing way far out of the way, um, you can definitely tell, considering that's you know where it was leaking from, down to the bottom of the engine and spraying all over the place. That definitely seems like a pretty good uh, theory as to where it was leaking from. So now that I got that all cleaned up and I got that mating surface all cleaned up, um, there was no uh, sticky gasket to scrape off or anything like that. It's just a uh, plain metal and fabric gasket or something like that that just fits in between. So pretty easy to clean off. Just, you know, use a paper towel and wipe it all off wipe up wipe off all the dirt so <clears throat> now let's uh slip the new gasket on put it back together 
Okay, I've got the gasket sitting in between there. Uh, it definitely helps that there's um, holes for the bolts to go through in the gasket, so that definitely holds it in place. Um, one thing to remember when putting it back, be sure to put that plug back in before uh, bolting it back to the block, or else uh, you're not going to be able to get it back on. I just had to loosen the bolts back up because I forgot to do that, so don't forget that. Other than that, um, everything is basically... Uh, reverse instructions compared to uh, taking it off um, so pretty simple uh, straightforward to put it back together